Hey guys, welcome to my review on the Bratz Metallic Madness Jade variant. Well, I'll be calling her the variant for the moment because same story as my Metallic Madness Chloe variant. Um, so I bought this doll on July the 7th last year for 32 euros and 95 cents at Dreamland because when I was reviewing my Chloe variant, I was telling that I got that one from my boyfriend as a late birthday gift. And I was choosing between Chloe and this one. But the reason why I chose Chloe over this one was because Chloe came with the clown waitress's dress, which I am so in love with. Because I really wanted that one and it was so epic and I'm so so happy that I have it. But eventually after a while I also uh, bought this one uh, later on because I really wanted this one too. And I'll be talking about that later in this video. So for the review she has... Um, Wait, I have my Metallic Madness Jade out of her box right here. So we can talk about the differences between the two of them. I hope she's gonna keep on standing on her own feet. So um, she has different eyebrows as you can see. Lightning is really hard to do. And she has orange lips. And another thing that I just noticed is she only has like black hair. And this one has like the midnight blue streaks in her hair. Which is a lot more nicer in my opinion. But yeah. Because I was looking all over the internet like crazy to identify this doll as well. And just looking at the hair by the hairstyle and her uh, face screening. But it's not her. And I just can't find, uh, I couldn't find any match for this doll. So I'm so, so clueless about who she is. And then she's wearing the uh, second outfit of Snow Kissed Jade, but it looks uh, more grayish. Wait, I have one over here. Um, let's see. Here is the second outfit of my Snow Kissed uh, Jade. And the difference between those two is it looks more grayish. This one looks more grayish than this one, you see? This is more like bright, like almost white, I think. This one is nicer in my opinion, but it also looks smaller. I'm not sure, maybe it's just me, but yeah, I thought it was, it looked kind of smaller than this one, but we'll find that out later on. But the story about this doll, uh, why I wanted this doll so badly is, yeah, maybe it's a chance that this one is like a real variant, but still, if she's not, I'm not uh, fully disappointed because I really love that peekaboo dress. I am such a big fan of those and I am not planning on changing my Snow Kissed Jade's outfit. Uh, for wearing her second outfit, like this dress, not like soon or anything. So when this one isn't rare at all, um, then I'll be deboxing her and it's it will be so nice seeing her on the shelf like an extra jade wearing this dress because I love peekaboo dresses and you can't have too many of those just like shoes actually. In my opinion, I am so obsessed with this dress. It's so, so cute. And then she comes with these teal boots with grey laces and wedges. And a cutout heart. That is so cute. 
and these are actually the Shufi snaps from the Shufi snaps pack and those are the hashtag love my boots pair because I, I looked it up because those looked very familiar to me so yeah that's why then her accessories are also super random she comes with three thin uh, three thin bangles from the Funk and Glow collection. One is silver and two are golden. It brings back so many memories about my first Bratz doll, which I still have with all the little pieces that she has, the same bracelets. So yeah, that's really nice. And then she comes with one pair of golden keyhole shaped earrings, also from the Funk and Glow uh, collection. Then she comes with this bronze cuff bracelet and the silver crystal shaped choker. Over here she comes with this ugly random purse from a Mycene or Barbie doll. I don't know, but this is definitely not from Bratz. And it makes me so, it's so frustrating because this doesn't belong inside of a Bratz box. So I really hate that. So yeah. Also, I'm still kind of thinking that someone uh, bought this all in the store and had like mixing her up with all the um, clothes and accessories because as you can see, it looks like she has been putting a, a lot of things inside of this box, like putting her back inside of the box with other stuff and she used the thread um, to secure it. On the insert paper I'm not really sure but I think it could be possible that this also happened to this doll I'm not sure but yeah it kind of looks like it and then the second outfit she comes with this um, with a tracksuit jacket and shorts which are from fierce fitness jade and then the top of metallic madness jade from the second outfit and the same brush. She also comes with the same uh, handle and back sides. It's just the same. Once again, I am not sure if this is a mistake or another variant. I really have to know because I'm so clueless about this doll as well. And I hope there's someone out uh, out there who can help me and, you know, give me the answers because I really need to know. It's just driving me crazy. I wouldn't be fully, like, disappointed if this happens not to be, like, a real variant because I can box her and, you know, I already said that stuff because I love the dress so much and I want to see it on the shelf. Like... So, I'm gonna give an overview on this one. Sorry about the lightning, guys. It's so horrible today. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my review on the Bratz Metallic Madness Jade variant. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel for more reviews and other videos. Hope y'all have a nice day and I'll see you in my next one. Ciao!